for many years, Donald Trump had only one boss, himself. As head of the Trump Organization, the real estate magnate did almost whatever he wanted. The only things that stopped him were legal or contractual restrictions that were surprisingly easy to change for him, and his desire for media attention. Now, a New York grand jury indicted Donald Trump less than four months after the Trump Organization was found guilty of 17 counts of criminal tax fraud. This is another cloud over the real estate company, which legal experts say could have trouble getting financing and making deals. So for this video, let us take a closer look at Donald Trump's notable properties and what the future holds for his real estate businesses after his indictment. Number 1. Trump Tower House, New York City The penthouse in Trump Tower in New York is probably the most well-known of all of Trump's houses. The luxury suite is said to be the family's favorite. The gold penthouse is on New York's Fifth Avenue, near some of the best homes in the world. It is decorated with real 24 karat gold fittings and Louis XIV style marble columns. The property is worth an eye-popping $100 million because it is filled from floor to ceiling with luxurious big chandeliers, plush rococo furniture, and white gold trim. The Trumps also get a lot of other perks from living in the penthouse, such as a private elevator to Trump's office, large art collections that rival family portraits, and views of Central Park that can't be beat. In a 2017 story that was republished in 2020, Forbes writers showed that the penthouse is actually much smaller than Trump said it was. It is about 22,004 square feet smaller than the former president claimed. Number 2. Mar-a-Lago, Palm Beach If Trump's homes and penthouses weren't enough, the Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach, Florida is his crowning real estate achievement. Even though Mar-a-Lago has turned into yet another business empire, the Trump family keeps their private quarters in a separate part of the resort grounds. During his presidency, Donald Trump used the space to meet a number of world leaders, making Mar-a-Lago one of the most expensive homes in the world. The resort is a beautiful 20-acre estate with more than 128 rooms. It is so big that it takes up the whole island Palm Beach is on. This makes Mar-a-Lago the second largest house in Florida after Versailles and the 24th largest mansion in the U.S. As of 2018, it was worth about $160 million and people now often call it Trump's rich playground. So since it was found out that Trump moved secret documents to the property while he was president, the property has been getting a lot of attention around the world. Number 3. Trump National Golf Club, New Jersey It is no secret that Donald Trump likes to play golf. He has golf clubs and resorts all over the world. The Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey is one of his favorite places to play. The club has a 43,000 square foot clubhouse, but the family also owns five multi-bedroom cottages and 11 rooms for members and guests to rent. One of the cottages was actually given to Donald Trump's daughter Ivanka and her husband Jared Kushner. The resort's 15-yard long pool is next to Donald's personal cottage, which was recently expanded by 500 square feet to include a second-floor patio and porch. The home is also close to the club's heliport hot tub and spa, tennis fields, riding trails, and other high-end amenities. Number 4. The Trump Winery, Virginia The Trump Winery has actually been a mystery for a number of years. 
Trump was able to buy the 1,100-acre vineyards and home for only $8.5 million. Even though the full value of the land was estimated to be $170 million. Now, even though Donald's son, Eric Trump, is the legal owner of the land, the businessman insists that the winery is his. The main house at the winery is 23,000 square feet and has 45 rooms. It is called Albemarle House, and it is now a part of the Trump's Hotels brand. The Albemarle Estate is in the middle of the Monticello Wine Trail and is one of the most famous pieces of building in Virginia. On the property, there are wineries and a center for making wine, as well as a number of fishing ponds, an outdoor pool and hot tub, and a large garden with ideas for relaxing and unwinding in the Virginian countryside. Since you've already reached this far, why not go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button? For sure you won't regret it because we have tons more videos for you to look forward to about the next big things happening around the globe and the world of traveling. Also, comment down below the topics you'd love to learn more about in our next videos. We'd love to hear them all. Now, back to the video. Now, how many buildings does Donald Trump own? Trump himself is known to own six private homes, but the Trump Organization owns a staggering 500 businesses and places around the world, including many of his favorite golf clubs. So even though Trump is being charged, his business also had something to do with the situation that led Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg to start looking into it. In 2017, the Trump Organization paid back former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen for a payment he made to adult star Stormy Daniels. The payment was supposedly made so that Daniels wouldn't talk about a sexual relationship she had with a former president before the 2016 election. Companies in the Trump Organization need money to build casinos, golf clubs, and homes. Now, Bennett Gershman, who teaches law at Pace University and used to work as an investigator for the New York State Anti-Corruption Office, actually thought that the Trump Organization's conviction for a crime last year made it toxic for many possible bankers and business partners. So even though the indictment of the company's former CEO may not add to the company's legal problems directly, it may hurt the company's image even more. Now, what do you think will most likely happen to the Trump Organization as well as his other properties after his indictment? Feel free to discuss your insights on the comment section. Until next time!